Hi and welcome to part 1 of the video on RDBMS interview questions and answers from careerright.com. What is RDBMS? RDBMS is the abbreviation for Relational Database Management System. It can be called as a system which organizes the data into related rows and columns. It enables the user to query the data and receive the widest range of output. Tell us something about the various kinds of databases in DBMS. The various kinds of databases involved in DBMS are object, object relational, relational, network, hierarchical, etc. Tell us something about the various features of relational database. A relational database stores everything in the form of tables consisting of columns and rows. Creation of tables, storage and retrieval of data is performed through SQL. Relationships here are represented by one table which contains key data extracted from other tables. Why are relational databases called relational? According to formal relational theory, tables are termed as relations. Everything in relational databases is stored in tables. Hence, the database is termed as relational. What are data types? While creating a column on a table, the type of data that you would intend to store there is required to be declared. These column types definitions are referred to as data types. The common data types are number, character, date. RDBMS has the ability to store text and image type data as well. What do you know about an ER diagram? ER diagram is entity relationship diagram. When you draw an image of the tables with relationships between them while designing the databases, the graphical representation of database tables is referred to as a ER diagram. What does referential integrity do? Referential integrity rules are applied while creating the relationship between two tables. It prevents the entry of inconsistent data in a table by a user or an application. This maintains the integrity of the data. What is the use of a primary key? Primary key helps in uniquely identifying a row of data in a table. What is a composite key? A composite key is similar to primary key with the difference that the table here has more than one columns. What do you mean by foreign key? It is a key column in a table which identifies records in a different table. What do you mean by an alternate key in a table? Columns other than primary key columns in a database table which act as a key are called alternate key. Explain normalization. Normalization is the process of organizing the data in the database efficiently. It reduces redundancy and inconsistent dependency from the database, making it more flexible. The process of normalization includes creating tables, establishing relationship between them. Tell us something about redundant data. Redundant data means the existence of same data at more than one place. It leads to wastage of disk space and maintenance problems. It means that if same data exists at more than one place and it needs to be changed, it must be changed similarly at all the places. What is first normal form? When you observe and practice only the first rule of normalization, the database is said to be in first normal form. The first normal form says eliminate duplicative columns from the same table. Create a separate table for each set of related data and identify such data with a primary key. Don't use multiple fields in a single table to store similar data. What is second normal form? When you observe and practice the first two rules of normalization, the database is said to be in second normal form. It says create separate tables for sets of values that apply to multiple records. Create relationships between the new tables and their predecessors using foreign keys. Records should depend only on table's primary key. What is third normal form? When you observe and practice the first three rules of normalization, 
the database is said to be in third normal form it says eliminate fields which do not depend on primary key values in a record that are not part of that records key do not belong in the table explain denormalization where is it used it is the reverse process of normalization it means introducing redundancy into the database design in a controlled way this helps in reducing the number of joins which improves query performance it is used in data warehousing or olap systems tell us something about index index means ordering the records in a database based on the values in some particular field it is used to get a quick access to a particular data in a database table the index provides pointer to the data values stored in the specified columns of the table and orders them according to the specified sort order the index should be created on a table only if you expect the data to be frequently queried what is the effect of indexes on performance of system indexes consume disk space they also slow down the addition deletion and updation of rows when should you index the columns you should index the column when it is a primary or foreign key it is sorted joins will be used on the columns and you expect the users to search values in that column how many types of indexes are there there are two types of indexes one clustered index two non clustered index what happens when you create a clustered index on a table when you create a clustered index on a table all the rows of the table are stored in the order of clustered index key what is sql ddl ddl means data definition language this part of sql provides syntax to create or delete database tables it also helps in defining indexes specifying links and imposing constraints between the database tables list some important ddl statements some of the important ddl statements are create table alter table drop table create index and drop index what is a transaction transaction is a unit of work in which a series of operations is performed these operations are performed between begin transaction and end transactions 